the Canadian press. Let me tell you, this is how it would work. You want to go see the doctor. You're feeling a pain. So you call the doctor for an appointment, the GP, the general practitioner. And told you have to wait three weeks before you can even just get in, just to check on, see, to see what's happening. And, um, and then finally, after the three weeks are over, uh, you get to the doctor's office, and when you arrive, the first question that's asked is not, what's wrong, what, 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 how are you feeling, why are you here, it's, where's your insurance card? What do you have insurance? And, and the estimates now is that the health insurance companies are going to make an extra $70 billion dollars as a result of Americans being forced to buy their health insurance. The intent is to maximize profits. If you denied more people health care, you got a bonus. When you don't spend money on somebody, it's a savings to the company. What company wouldn't love this bill? So with all the, the wailing that they're doing about this bill, believe me, the health insurance companies are not that upset about it. In fact, they helped to write this bill. It's not universal health care. 13 million people will still not have health insurance in the United States. And the drug companies, the side deal that Obama cut with them to keep them out of this, out of this fight, because they agreed to reduce their prices by $8 billion in the first year of the new health care bill. The story in the New York Times today on how they've been raising their prices so fast this year in anticipation of this bill being passed that drugs this, this year are going to cost $10 billion more than last year? So they're already $2 billion ahead of the $8 billion they promised to cut back, but then they're going to make $10 billion. 80% of us don't have a passport. When you create a society that essentially is in that state, it's very easy to run an ad on the nightly news about what a third world country Canada is and how people are dying on the sidewalk up here because they can't get in to see the doctor. You actually believe that stuff because of the education you've been given, because education is such a low priority. Our schools are in such disarray and our media doesn't do anything to help educate people in the way that they need to be educated. The Canadian Press